Welcome back to Terpiaize. In today's video, we put together a completely new setup from Mars Hydro with our new SP3000 LED grow light and a 2x4 grow tent. For this series, we'll be growing four white widow plants from seed in three gallon pots filled with ProMix HP. Let's get into opening up the Mars Hydro SP3000 LED Grow Light. This light is the newest release. The light is equipped with both Samsung and Osram LEDs along with a single meanwhile driver. When the light is at 100% output, it uses up only 300 watts. They designed this light to replace the 600 watt HPS light. I believe they surpassed this with the light output of 2.7 micromoles per joule, making a big dent in the energy savings. Compared to the earlier model, the Mars Hydro SP250, which is a much less powerful light than the SP3000, actually produces less heat than the SP250. Just like other 2020 models, this light comes with a dimmable box, which allows you to connect up to 15 lights together. They provide you with a communication cable if you have multiple lights as well as the hanging hardware which is two pulleys. I found it difficult to find where to install the hangers at each end of the light. There is no clear area for them so I just stuck them in lettering of the Mars Hydro logo. If you're new to the channel, I upload videos every week covering indoor and outdoor grows, solventless extractions, products and equipment. If those are the things you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out when I upload new videos. Time to unbox the Mars Hydro 2x4 Grow Tent. First impressions when taking the tent out of the box, the material is high quality. I've purchased 7 different brands of tents and this one is by far the nicest I've had my hands on. When putting together this tent, I tried to do it without the instructions. It's straightforward and easy to put together. Although after completing it, I checked out the instructions and they did show a different way than how I did it. A few small things I'd change about the tent is that there is no opening near the bottom to run an extension cord through so you're stuck using one of the large openings at the top or the oddly placed small hole in the middle of the back wall. I also don't like how the viewing window on the door of the tent is mesh. If the velcro isn't fully sealed then your exhaust fan would be pulling air from that location instead of the vents from the bottom. I assembled the frame inside the shell of the tent because it's easy to visualize the sizes of which pole to use. The corner pieces are all metal which is very important for a strong tent. There are tents out there that have plastic corners which make the tent very flimsy and you can't hang many items from the cross poles on top. The ventilation for this setup will be a 6 inch carbon air filter and a 6 inch inline fan. Reusing these pieces from my old setup. Because of how I exhaust the ductwork going out the side, I use 3 pulleys to hang the light. One on one side and two on the other. This allows for the hanging points to go around the ductwork and connect to the top side poles of the frame. The 
The White Widow plants are now on day 35 of eggs from seed and are in 1 gallon pots. So it's time to transplant them into the 3 gallon pots. Fitting the 4 plants in a 2x4 grow tent means we'll have to switch them to flower pretty soon, allowing them to have enough room to make it to harvest. Enjoying this video or have found it at all helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. It really goes a long way in supporting the channel. Check out the description below for links to the products in this video and other companies I work with and trust. I'm currently finishing up the OG Kush Grow in a 4x4 tent using two Mars Hydro TSL 2000 grow lights. The next video for that series will be a harvest video, so I'll leave a link to the playlist in the top right corner for you to click on if you haven't seen that grow series. The other four plants in the one gallon pots are blue gelato. They are just waiting to be moved over to my other tent once the OG Kush plants get harvested. Let me know in the comments if you like this style video where each video is an episode on a specific grow series. Or would you rather prefer a video that covers all the grows in a single video and I have one or two videos per week posted. 